I'm a lawyer. Copywriter. Doctor. Music producer. Personal trainer. Software engineer. DJ. I want to know. Can AI do my job? I'm a software engineer. Where I work, we're always trying to know, where can I find the best craft beer? Please generate the code for a website using HTML, CSS, and Flask that tells me where there's craft beer near me. This is just raw code. You actually need to run the code somewhere. I'm copy and pasting the code into separate files, and it generates a website. How cool. Here's our website. All three pieces, the back end, the front end, and the styling, did actually make something that was human readable. That that generates a website that we can look at and understand what it does, does seem like a huge feat to me. I'm a doctor. This prompt is something that a patient might enter. I have a fever, rash, and body aches. The rash looks like small welts on my genitals. Do I have monkeypox? The response is pretty solid in the sense that it's unlikely that you have monkeypox. The specific thing it got right was that the monkeypox rash is actually not prominent on the genital area. It goes on to say that a rash in the genital area most likely is an STI. The rest of the answer is just fluff, talking to your healthcare provider, which is pretty obvious. Can AI do my job? I don't think it's there yet. I think the AI right now is really good for a first year medical student. I'm a graphic designer. Rebrand the McDonald's logo as vegan. I'm seeing four image variations. It's struggling with text. It's looking sort of like characters, but in some sort of fictional language. I wouldn't send any of these straight away to McDonald's. They do each need a little bit of work. The fourth one, I think, is maybe the strongest. It's leaning towards more organic colors. Overall, I don't think AI can do my job. I kind of see this as a more evolved Pinterest. I can use it as a base for inspiration, but I don't think it will replace me altogether, or so I hope. I'm a therapist. People come to me when they want help in dating or relationships. Please answer the following question in a way a relationship therapist would. Why do I always fight with my partners? Conflicts are a natural part of any relationship. Fighting or arguing is not necessarily a sign of a bad relationship. Great. Some possible factors include communication issues, stress in life events, different conflict styles. How do I know what my conflict style is? Reflect on your past conflicts. Observe your behavior during conflicts. Most people are incapable of reflecting on their conflict style during conflicts. So while this is great information, I'm not sure how actionable it is. What AI has done is it's just dumped a bunch of information. Were I to be a client, I would probably want my money back. That's just me. So can AI do my job? I would say have self-help books done my job. People don't lack knowledge. They lack the ability to follow through. I'm a stand-up comedian, and I want to know if an AI can do my job. Write a 100-word minimum funny stand-up comedy joke. Let me go ahead and perform this and we'll see what we got. Online dating, what a wild ride that is. You know what they say, swipe right for love and left for, well, probably just another cat person. But hey, at least it's better than meeting someone at a bar and realizing you have the same dad, again. Like, what site are you using, Ancestry.com? That's a little creepy. It has the cadence right, which is what's so fascinating to me. And it's kind of creeping me out. I did think it was cute when it was like, oh, swipe left on a cat person. Although, let's be honest, that's a little feline phobic. I'm not concerned about the AI yet. It could take a crappier comedian's job, but it can't take mine. I'm a lawyer. My client is asking me whether or not they can sell someone's health information. Please write a legal memorandum about this. In a true legal memorandum, it would give you which sections of the regulation you're talking about, which this is not doing. It doesn't say what the penalties are. Is it criminal? Is it civil? I don't really know where it's getting its information. I don't know how much it can trust this. If it were like a legal associate, uh, I would say go back and do a better job. I'm a news anchor. I want to know if AI can do my job. I have given the AI some text to read. A forest fire has blazed through a large part of the southern mountain region of the country. She didn't sound natural. It sounded like a machine speaking. The lips look weird. It looked like the lips did not belong to the face. And provide aid to those affected. When I speak, I'm moving my hands, but I'm also moving some of my body. She wasn't doing that. I do a newscast in Spanish. 
un incendio forestal ha afectado una gran parte de la región montañosa del sur del país. Now let's see how it does with the Spanish newscast. Un incendio forestal ha afectado una gran parte de la región. It sucked in Spanish. <laughs> She actually threw in some Spanglish there. Miles de hectáreas. And the accent. I have causado. She definitely struggled there. The AI cannot take my job for now. I'm a bartender. Surprise me with a twist on a Negroni and give it a name. Fill a mixing glass with ice. Add the gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth. Gently muddle two to three fresh sage leaves in the glass. Stir the mixture until well chilled. Express the orange peel over the drink. Release the oils and use it as a garnish. There you go, you have your sage Negroni. So it's a good classic Negroni. I'm not really getting sage. Just adding the sage leaves was not very creative. AI didn't ask me any follow-up questions. I would say, what do you like? Is there a style of gin that you like? I think if you want to have a truly bespoke cocktail, you gotta go see a bartender. I'm a screenwriter. I'm gonna give this AI a prompt that describes a scene in my latest movie and to see how well it can match it. In this scene set in 1949, three World War II widows toast their younger sister Ruby's wedding. Exterior, beach day. Mildred, Shirley, and Charlotte frolic at the shoreline of the beach. And may you never have to experience the heartbreak that we did. The character literally says exactly what like you want the story to do. What's going on? Ruby seems tense. I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Just very on the nose dialogue. There's a lot of parentheticals describing how the character is saying the line. This is a screenwriter, no, no. You start to tip into the director's territory. I think that AI can help with my job in conceptual brainstorming, playing out scene ideas if you get stuck on a scene. But overall, I don't think AI can do my job. I'm a music producer. I'm writing a song for a pop client. Please write this song and include chords for the guitar. The client is heavily influenced by Lana Del Rey. It looks like we've gotten a chord structure and some lyrics, a typical progression, so not too interesting, but that's okay. So let's make a beat. When I work with an artist that's looking for a specific influence, I'll think about the BPM that that artist usually goes for. Okay, yeah, this is pretty good. It's a good start. Another great day in the city. I'm feeling lost, oh, such a pity. City lights and heartbeats. You walk in and make me complete. I like that. It's a starting point. Of course, some of the lyrics are super corny. I will admit, a lot of the time, that's how it starts for me. Right now, these programs can't do my job. I'm a journalist. I'm the reviews editor at Wired and I test products for a living. So I asked ChatGPT to write a review of a product that I've actually written about in the style of my own writing. When it comes to electric skateboards, there are plenty of options to choose from. A little boring. This is pulling in data specifically from my review. And so it has a lot of similar characteristics and sentences that I might typically use. Unfortunately, I think it stripped away a lot of the personality in the original review. It kind of just took a lot of the basic details and spit out this thing that is kind of generic. As for things it did right, it actually brought out a lot of these specs, like the 3,000 watt motors, the 26 miles per hour speeds. When reading this review, it almost sounds like I could have written it by just reading a press release. The AI cannot physically handle this product. It's not exactly testing the product itself. At that point, can you really trust where the source is coming from? Asking ChatGPT to write a review based in my voice is definitely weird. I'm a circus artist. What would I ask the AI to do? Hmm. I don't think there's anything that I can think of that I would have the AI do for me. I'm a copywriter. McDonald's just went 100% vegan, write several taglines. So we've got, veganize your taste buds today. Feels like a used car salesman. No animals harmed, only flavor enhanced. I don't ever go to a fast food restaurant and say, mm, I really want my flavor enhanced. That's not something I'm ever looking for. Our last one here is, wow, very short. We've got, it's time to go green. Did it run out of um, words? 
It typed up some general ideas, which actually could help if you were brainstorming and you're like, I have nothing at all. AI could do my job at a very, like a Monday morning, no coffee kind of way. If you wanted to pay no money and get a bad product, sure, AI could do my job. I'm a personal trainer. Please design a fat burning weekly at home workout plan. This is definitely a typical plan that someone might want to burn calories with a full body workout. You're also doing some type of pull workout that's gonna work your back, your posterior chain, and you're also doing some kind of push. So I will say that I like that, that it's giving a full range of those types of exercises. Most people know what a push up is, but do they know how to correctly do a push up? It's saying three sets of eight to 10 reps, but how much time is in between each said. Ideally, you would want to be able to see the client in person or on a virtual call so that you can see what their form looks like. I don't think AI can do my job. I'm a DJ. I have my radio show coming up. I play uplifting disco music for about two hours. Make a full playlist slash set list for my show. It's hitting the disco on the head for sure. I've played a few of these artists on my show before, so it's definitely getting pretty close to maybe what a track list would be. One of these tracks, Gotta Keep On by Sweet Cream. I looked it up and there's no trace of it on the internet anywhere. Where did it get this song from? Does the song actually exist? AI can make a playlist. Being able to look out into a room and look out into a dance floor and say, okay, people are tired. Let me match that energy. I don't think that it can do that based on what I've seen. I'm a voice actor. Fashion shouldn't cost the earth. We've created a new line of compostable shoes that are made from sustainable materials. I've asked the AI to read this copy. Let's hear this thing. Fashion shouldn't cost the earth. We've created a new line of compostable shoes that are made from sustainable materials. It did okay, but not great. It's very computer-like. <laughs> it has a strange cadence, and so it ends every sentence like this. Sustainable materials. Which is not the way a human talks. It can't change on the fly. Is there a joke that I'm supposed to get in the next line? It doesn't understand all those things, the things that come from like life experiences. It's never going to be like the thing that you're gonna use for like McDonald's commercials. It's gonna be like the things that no one really likes to do anyway, like 400 hours of instruction manuals or something like that. Can AI do my job? Kinda, but not really well although it still freaks me out. I'm an influencer, and I want to know if AI can do my job. I want ChatGPT to help me with an IG caption that's a picture of me smiling, standing at the top of Montmartre in Paris, standing on top of the world, or at least on top of Montmartre. Smiley face, eyes. The view from here is breathtaking. The sacre cœur in my back, reminding me of the city's rich history and culture. Feeling grateful and inspired. What a day it has been. <laughs> Hashtag grateful. This is like really strong, but it doesn't necessarily capture how I would speak. My audience would know that this is not me, <laughs> probably from the overwhelming amount of emojis. I would probably say like, hey y'all, or like, sis, that was amazing. This AI program cannot do my job, but it's very close. I'm a chef. Write a recipe for an Indian restaurant meal. Include a protein marination, it's got definitely a lot of spices that you use in Indian cooking. It's actually missing a key component. It did include yogurt, which kind of acts as a binding agent. 400 degrees, 20 to 25 minutes for chicken, it would probably dry it out. Overall, I would say it's like a nice eight out of 10 dish. I do think a substantial part of being a chef is that creativity and coming up with dishes. So in terms of that aspect of the job, I think AI comes dangerously close to being able to do my job. I'm a translator. Please translate the opening paragraph of the sun also rises into Korean. Structure of a sentence, pretty good. But there are so many mistakes. Like if you see the second sentence, this is wrong translation. In Korean, we have casual form and also respectful form. This AI translation use basic written form in first sentence, but in the second sentence, he used like respectful form. It's not consistent. 
AI cannot do my job. Maybe someday it can do it, but so far, it's like it made so many mistakes. I'm a firefighter. There's no way AI can do my job. 